Focus and Focus session. My name is Jeanette Rohr, and I'm joined by a very special guest today. We have Rudy Held here, the global head of the SAP Co-Innovation Labs. Rudy, it's very nice to see you today. Thank you very much for the invite, Jeanette. It's a pleasure to be here. Maybe you can first tell us a little bit about what are the SAP Co-Innovation Labs and what is their task? The Co-Innovation Labs are actually a network of labs. We are present in 14 countries across the world. We actually facilitate and support co-innovation between SAP and our ecosystem of partners, startups, future partners and, and customers. We provide a very well-developed process, um, a co-innovation process that we have um, continuously improved over the past 13 years um, since we started with the co-innovation lab and a set of services to help accelerate co-innovation. That sounds exciting. And what is your role in the global network? So I'm the global head of the co-innovation labs. I'm actually coordinating our labs across the world. Why did SAP found the co-innovation labs? What um, was the idea behind that? On one hand, I would say um, co-innovation has always been in the DNA of SAP. If you look back uh, in the early 70s when SAP started and built the first um, ERP system, um, our founders actually um, sat together with the customers at customer sites. They even used the customers' computers to build this first solution. So this idea of collaborative innovation with our customers, with our partners, um, and, and with startups and other companies, actually, um, I think, was one of the foundations for, for SAP success. When we launched the first co-innovation lab in Palo Alto in 2007, um, I think we actually took that concept to a new level, the way you co-innovate um, with your partners, with your customers, um, needed, um, I would say, a new approach, an additional approach, an additional option, and that's how the Co-Innovation Lab came into existence. We want to be a real lab, a real lab environment where everybody rolls up their sleeves and, and we work together in building new solutions um, and not just a, a showroom or um, yeah, a, a meeting room. And um, from a customer perspective, what are the particular benefits uh, from, that come with working uh, with the co-innovation labs? On one hand, innovation is really crucial for every company. If you don't innovate, you will not succeed in the market um, and your competitors will, will overtake. On the other hand, innovation is always an investment to start with. Uh, there's a certain risk and, and it takes time. And um, we want um, to tackle those challenges together with partners for our customers. To start with the investment. It might be quite a bit of upfront investment if you have to uh, invest in hardware, in software, um, especially if you want to build something new on the latest and greatest technologies that you don't have in-house and you may not have the skills in your company to, um, to build solutions based on new technologies. So here we help our customers, we help our partners um, with providing the right infrastructure, the right systems um, with all the latest and greatest of SAP. Partners can bring in their latest solutions, uh, their latest concepts, and we do really targeted enablement um, so that everybody in the project has the right skills right from the beginning and with that, we basically um, really accelerate the innovation process. Um, we shorten the time to build a first prototype that you can validate and test. And uh, we really lower the upfront investments for both um, the partners, the customers, and SAP. Right, that sounds like a recipe for success. So um, apart from the willingness to invest in uh, innovation, Mm, are there other prerequisites that the customers should fulfill and how should they proceed if they want to co-innovate with you? Customers and partners only come with something where they see business value. They may have a rough idea, they may see um, a business challenge in their daily work that they want to overcome um, to improve their business and to uh, also deliver more value to their clients in, in return. We, we do a joint assessment of the business case with the partners, with the customers, with SAP stakeholders like our product teams, our product experts, our industry experts. Apart from that, it's primarily the mindset. If you innovate, um, it's a different way of collaboration. It's not the typical relationship that you might have to a vendor 
as a, as a customer. It's not the typical supplier client relationship, but it's really a partnership where everybody needs to be active. We work together as partners. Everybody um, comes with new ideas and builds something. But it's really a joint process um, where we work together, where we ideate together and, and build together. It requires that kind of mindset to say, okay, we, are, we do not just voice our requirements and see what SAP delivers, but it's really a collaborative process where everybody is actively involved. Could you give us a couple of examples of um, customer co-innovation projects? Um, there were two areas that we worked quite a bit in the recent years. Um, one was Internet of Things and uh, lately a lot in the blockchain space. Um, two areas um, that are hyped quite a bit in the media, but um, where customers are not necessarily sure what's the value for them. So the first example would be a very large post office in Europe in which we um, used blockchain to trace temperature sensitive goods. And you want to make sure that uh, this threshold is really observed throughout the whole logistics chain. We use blockchain to really monitor or to make sure that the, the, the vaccination and other medication is transferred below the threshold. And at the same time, we have proof um, that you cannot change or, or modify afterwards for everyone um, that this, uh, this threshold was observed. The second example is a very large water manufacturer. They actually wanted to optimize um, their production process. You might think that uh, for one liter of mineral water, you just need one liter of water from the, from the source. But in, in reality, um, there's a certain wastage, if you wish. And um, of course, uh, you want to minimize the wastage, um, not just um, for the efficiency in the process, um, but also because it's about uh, natural resources um, that you want to be very conscious about. And um, so in this case, um, we work to leverage IoT to optimize the production process, the bottling process of mineral water. This year, a lot of things are different as we are still in the grip of a global pandemic. Um, I assume this also influences um, the Co-Innovation Labs collaboration with customers. Since we are really a global team in, in 14 countries, virtual collaboration um, has been the norm for us. We always needed to loop in people from across the globe and, and tap into expertise um, that was spread across the world in SAP. If you, if you start a collaboration, if you meet for the first time, it's of course very helpful to build up trust. Um, if you can sit together in a room and, and brainstorm together. If we go virtual, um, we want to take this interactive component into the virtual world. Uh, we actually started running um, a lot of hackathons, virtual hackathons that uh, run across several days. We work together with the partners, with the customers um, over a period of, of up to seven days, uh, very intense through, through all the different collaboration tools. And uh, we usually end those virtual hackathons with, with pitch sessions that are um, quite motivating, but also challenging for the participants because they know they need to build something and they want to build something nice uh, for such a hackathon. And, this really drives collaboration and a much more intense collaboration. Thank you so much for your time and your insights, Rudy. Thank you very much, Jeanette. It was a pleasure to have you here, Rudy Held, the Global Head of SAP Co-Innovation Labs, bringing together customers and partners with SAP for Co-Innovation. This was in focus. Thank you.